Hey YouTube, so I was getting ready to go out to dinner, so I figured I'd sit down and film this makeup look um, to see how I did it. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so I already did my eyebrows off of camera because this video would take forever. We start off by priming our eyelids. I just used the $1 um, primer by e.l.f. and I put all over my eyelids up to the bar bone and just blend it out with my finger. And we are just going to basically the naked palette for this look first thing I do is start off with um, a blending color and I use buck and I, I just have this brush by Sonia Kashuk you can get these brushes at Target this was from a holiday line but you can still find brushes like this anywhere so yeah just put all over your crease um, both eyes of course and this just makes for a good transition between all your eyeshadows just makes it blend flawlessly the next thing I'm going to use is this um, Maybelline Color Tattoo, 24 hour color tattoo in the color Gold Rush. So I just apply all over my lids with my finger and I'm just going to keep going, um, just keep building up the intensity. First I just put like a light layer and then I just build it up. It's a real pretty shimmery gold color and I love these 24 hour color tattoos because they last all day, they never crease on me. Um, yeah, when you see them, you should get them. I usually get them when they're buy one 50% off at the drugstores or at Target or anything like that. The next thing I do, um, I'm going to put smog on my outer V. First, I just put it on with an e.l.f. crease brush, nothing too precise because then we're just going to blend it out so it looks really nice and seamless. So I just, I'm just going to use that Sonia Kashuk brush again because the first color was lighter than what we're blending out. So just keep blending, blending, blending so that it is flawless. Next thing I'm going to use is this Wet n Wild eyeshadow in Brulee. I use it all the time. As you can see, I've hit pan and I just use it to highlight my brow bone. It is my favorite color to highlight the brow bone and it's hard to find, but I usually find that at Five Below. It's about dollars or so and you just use that seam so you can catch a brush to blend it i am going to take smog again and smudge it on my lower lash line just so it looks nice and seamless stupid face and then off camera i am going to line my eyes with the lorac eyeliner and now i am going to put mascara on this is a l'oreal telescopic clean definition mascara i'm going to put a whole bunch of layers on just so i can really make my eyes look nice my eyelashes look nice and long um doesn't really add length but it does make them look really nice and long so yeah and i also add i love this one for the lower lashes too looks really great looks pretty so yeah i just keep loading them on so you can find this anywhere i found I actually found this on clearance at walmart that's what the eyes look like and I actually wanted to add a little bit of highlight on the inner tear duct, so I added Sidecar from the Naked Palette. It looks really pretty. So there's the eyes, and we are going to move on to the face. First, I'm going to use the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I just tap it onto my T-zone. It really makes the fo your pores look smaller, and yeah, so I put that on my T-zone. And then for the rest of my face, I use the Pixi Flawless and Poreless um, primer that I got in an Ipsy bag a while ago. It was also in my favorites. Uh, I put that on the rest of my face. And then I use my Holy Grail foundation, and that is the um, Maybelline 24 Hour Stuff in Warm Golden. <laughs> foundation form golden and I'm using this brush um I got it from Pink Little Cosmetics it's just a kabuki brush so we just blend it all out and put it all over my face and just blend it and And then I use the Maybelline, I think it's Maybelline Age Rewind um, concealer.
concealer to highlight my under eyes, my nose, my chin, and my forehead. I only go a little bit into my forehead because you can see I have a huge forehead so I don't want it to highlight too much and bring too much attention to my forehead. So yeah, I just blend it out with an RC Cosmetics um, pointed kabuki brush. So I can leave their link below if you're interested. You can get, um, I think a set of like four kabuki brushes for like 15 bucks or something like that it is awesome and then I blend it out with that same foundation brush that I used before just so it's seamless then I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer it smells so good and it's just a big fluffy brush I don't even know what brand this is from um, I just bronze up my face I don't really do any strong contour because as you can see I do have kind of um, defined cheekbones I don't really need to contour too strongly but I do like to bronze up my face to put some color and my forehead. Like I said, it's big and you should make it look smaller. <laughs> That's that. Blend it all out. And then I'm going to use a Bahama Mama brush with a Real Techniques Multitask brush. I love this for blush. And just put it on the apples of your cheeks and blend it upwards above your bronzer. And then I use a clean um, stipple brush to just like, blend it all out and make it look seamless. And then my favorite Mary Luminizer with an e.l.f. fan brush on the tops of my cheekbones, down my nose, you know, and you blend all that out to make it look nice and seamless. And I'm going to use Snob by MAC. I just use it lightly. I didn't really want anything strong on my lips. So yeah, that's that. And then I um, set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter. I have the full size, but I just refilled the small one. So this is what it looks like close up. Hope you guys like it. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial my first tutorial I know I'm still getting my lighting down packed and all that good stuff but it's getting better and I'm learning and you guys are really helping me so I appreciate it um, if you have any questions let me know I'm going to list all the products down below as well in case you didn't catch it during this tutorial so um, yeah until next time subscribe to my channel follow me on Instagram add me on Facebook bye guys Thanks. No, that was stupid. That was stupid. But I was put. It's like making. Hey YouTube, so I was getting ready. F <sighs> okay.